Hey yo together and very welcome to the Starcraft 2 Crazy Replays today with a TVC on a map I don't know who it's called. No, I really don't know this map and you already see the layout is different and 12 worker in the beginning so that's a Legacy of the White Beta replay I found and I think that might be interesting to watch. I got a TVP as well but unfortunately um, the current status of the beta, the current status of the version, I don't know, I can't open the replay anymore, which is really sad because I was like, I thought that was a good replay and I wanted to show you, but unfortunately I can. But yeah, I, at least this one works. So I hope you enjoy and yeah, we get on this map in the right top corner, the red circle. Ace lag, or maybe aceless. Uh, it depends a little bit, but I guess I, I will say aceless. Okay, maybe that's wrong, but uh, it sounds better. Let's let's get started with uh, aceless. And the opponent, of course, me, the blue Terran spawning in the right bottom corner. Uh, the blue Terran, Alex Sasha. Yeah, woo! And we already see some. Barracks and refinery going down, as well as the early hatchery, the extractor, and the spawning pool behind this. So, yeah, it aceless immediately spots my current location. There's a Reaper on the way, and rallied immediately to his main base. So, there's a V scouted that, knows that some gases might, and man, be aware of the gas gazers, the Vespin gazers, just got 2000. Uh, resources instead of 2500 and the mineral patches are also a little bit different. You can see it here 1500 is normal and some are at 900. I guess half of them. Yeah. Right. So the Reaper should be out. There it is. And the Reaper got this new ability called the KDA charge which isn't really new. Uh, there was a time in the Wings of Liberty beta and I guess in the main game as well, where this was the attack versus buildings, which dealt 30 damage straight, which was really strong. But now it's a small grenade, which you can plant down. And after a short duration, it will explode and deal 10 damage to all nearby units. And you see, those units will jump away. So, really interesting. And there you go. Sick micro, but didn't matter at all. But there is a second Reaper on the way, yay, more Jumperino on the way for us. So yeah, um, those grenades don't stack, so if you plant five at once, they all explode at the same time. Uh, that's when the first grenade explodes, but the jump will only occur once as well as the damage will just be 10. So you can't stack the damage, it doesn't stack like... Mm, which ability does stack? I guess it's the new ability, the, the, this parasitic bomb, which does stack, storm doesn't stack. But yeah. And behind that, quite greedy, hots, normal opening, hellions and command centers on mass as well as a refinery. Because in, in Legacy of the Void I guess it's better to get more gas earlier because of the new units. And of course, because of the new economic system, you mine so much more, or not more, you mine just faster compared to HOT, so you have more money earlier to spend, <coughs> and you definitely need to get used to that. So, two Hellions, one Reaper left, and I guess I will get the command center morphing to an orbital command. There are some circlings, nine in total. Nine circlings are making their way towards my natural and they will run straight into this reaper. Oh! This reaper not paying attention. That's unfortunate and uh, those hellions are coming back. There is no wall off so those links can run in and maybe get one or two SEVs. Oh! Good reaction there. But mm, the wall is closed and those, oh, those hellions they kill those circlings like nothing. That was that wasn't too good there. I also don't like the overload spread from Aceless. He definitely should spread his overloads a little bit to know if there are drops or anything. He doesn't really know what's coming. He doesn't see if it's mech or bio. 
currently looks like it's by because of the barracks. And we see the lair already finished here. And we see two evolution chambers and a road roll as well as a spire. So that's really gas heavy. Um, I don't know about roach mutilisk. That's a really interesting combination. But those roaches can transform. They can morph into the ravager. And oh, we see a hydralisk then as well. No, it's cancel. No, there it is. Okay, hydralisks, roaches, and a spire. That's interesting. Very gas heavy. I don't know if he can get all those units at the same time with all the upgrades, especially, especially because he just got uh, 42 workers, which isn't a whole lot. Stim will finish up right now, and plus one plus one will be later than the Zerg's upgrade. So there's a small window, like 30 seconds, where he can attack and got an upgrade advantage. And with Roaches versus Marines, that's even more, this, this has even more impact. So, but currently it looks like he just got 8 Roaches, 7 Roaches, 8 Roaches to defend. He really should drone up. I mean, if you are behind in workers against in anything, in uh, in any CVX whatsoever. If you're behind in workers in every matchup, that's that's not good, especially versus Terran because they got the mules. And you can see in the uh, income tab that's really a huge impact. I mean, those mules are mining a whole lot. Even more mules are coming down, and we see the armory. There are more starports than usual. Second starport. And I could imagine that this is for the Liberator, the new unit Terran just got, which got a good splash anti-air and a really nice anti-ground attack, but the anti-ground attack needs to be researched for 200-200 and for it requires an armory first. So very expensive, not an early game upgrade to get, and the Liberator also not really an early game unit. But in the mid, especially the late game, I guess this unit can be really, really good. And uh, we see Burrow plus 2 plus 2 on the way. And uh, those roaches are on the way as well. It looks like they are going for some kind of little push attack, and there are just 8 Hellbats. So if you look at the army supply, it's favoring me, but I just got a bunch of marines. And roaches are doing quite well against Hellbats because they can kite. There is just one marauder. And I guess Aceless will trade quite evenly here. Yeah, looks good for him. Unit lost him shows it as well, quite even now. And there we go, there's the Liberator. You will see this guy in action quite soon. I still think that he needs to drone up more. As a third player, Especially in Legacy of the Void, but I guess in every StarCraft 2 you wanna have 80 roaches ASAP. I mean, of course, sure, you need to make sure that you don't die to anything, but you want you wanna have 80 roach uh, drones, not roaches, drones. Sorry. Uh, the inject's not the best. You can see it at the energy of those queens. He definitely should throw down at least one macro hatch, maybe a second one, and we see some villa mines as well. And the Liberator. So this is the upgrade. Liberator Morph is it called. And costs 200, 200. And then it can use the anti-ground mode. And there's the Ravager. This Widowmine not burrowed. Oh, the Widowmine damage is so huge. And the Ravager fall immediately. This was the Corrosive Fire. There is some damage there, but he has to go back. Ooh! Yeah, Marines with the help of the Medivac and plus one plus one can yield some damage. He definitely should have waited for plus two plus two to finish. Very important. There we see the anti-ground weapon with plus one. 93 damage every 1.14 1 uh, seconds, which is insane. So the standard damage would be 85. And with the upgrade it's 80, uh, 93, so seven, no eight, eight more damage. Ooh, there we see it. And yeah, the Liberator Miller uh, missile launchers are 8 damage, 2 attacks, also quite fast. And magic boxing doesn't work against the Liberator anymore. So that means with Mutalisk or Phoenix or anything, you need to split. 
you can't rely on magic box only, which you could versus Thor, but not versus the Liberator. And there we see some fancy technique to Harris. Uh, that's a little nice drop. So a drop with the Liberator can be so strong. Aceless has to pull back his whole army. Um, but there we go, Corruptor. And they will take down those Liberators super soon. And the, Liber uh, the Corruptor also got changed. They got not lo any longer the ability to spit on a unit. And this unit takes 20% more damage from each uh, yeah, unit. Now it's the Caustic Spray, which deals a lot of damage over time. That's, that's not bad. But you can see now for what the Liberator is good. I mean, it takes a long time, like 6 seconds to morph into this mode. But to lock down a small location like this, a pathway, they are so good against this, uh, for this. And here we see a good engagement for Aceless. 2-2 two, two versus 2-1. Two, not the best one. And those Hydralists are wrecking everything. This Liberator is not in the right mode to shoot. Uh, very close. Bio is still strong. Vitamines are helping out as well. And there you can see the splash damage is not too bad. And if you have a look at the army supply, it's looking good for Aceless, but he needs more drones. Or at least where where's his macro hedge? He got no macro hedge. His mm, there's no queen at all. He needs to get his injects done. I guess with better macro he would have already won. Definitely, I guess so. Oh, and one more interesting thing to note, the mech upgrades are split again into ground and air. So, you definitely need to make sure to know what you want. You can't just, it's, it's hard to transition from one into another uh, composition. And uh, very interesting this. Normally you see s things like a uh, salad warp ins or drops or ling run buys, but a marine run by is quite rare. Uh, but it's unseen. There is ooh, those marauder are very important, but losing them for nothing. But I guess he can't attack into this. Those liberators are dealing massive damage, like 101 damage each. So they one shot hydralists. They would even without any upgrade, but they deal also a lot of damage to those roaches. And there's the, the run by, the marine run by. Stim to win. And I guess this hatchery will fall down very rapidly. Will we see a cancel? Yes. That's good. And the drone survives. Ah, and Aceless pulls back everything. You see his production tab. Not the best. Not the best here. And he's getting the, the hatchery as well again. So he's hunting down those marines. Will he get them? That's a big question. Oh no, he pulls back. Oh, those lucky guys. They would have been dead. There's no no medivac. I just got liberators on Mars. Two medivacs. Where are they? Oh, dropping one there. That's annoying. And setting up a flank, I guess, here. Maybe a, a battlefield. I'm choosing... That's a good thing with the liberator. You can set up a battlefield for your own. With the Vitamites and the liberator and maybe tanks, you've got everything you need. And look at the damage the Liberators are dealing. Holy, they are dealing so much damage. But, you see, morphing into another form uh, takes so long. And the damage is nice, but that was wasted. All those units survive. At the meantime, ooh, those heavily overstead Marines are killing down two more hatcheries there. But I need to make sure I don't die to the counterattack, which could come any second now. 26 more roaches on the way. I don't know why he's getting certain melee attacks. Because he's sticking to hydralisks and roaches. I guess he could need some viper. Uh, viper would be nice. Oh, burrow use here. That's nice. Viper would be really nice because of the parasitic bond against the liberator. And maybe to pull or uh, the blinding cloud against the bio, which can work. Ooh, that's 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 risky to move down that pathway. He got one overseer there, so widow mines are not that big of a deal. But if you look at the army supply, that's looking very good for Aceless here. And ah, the widow mine barrels uh, gets no shot off. 
Yeah, those Corrupter are not doing too good. I guess he should use the Caustic Spray. And the Bunker, the units there are stimmed and the Bunker gets repaired. That's so close! I guess he really should use the ability Caustic Spray here. I don't know if this works. Okay, only works versus enemy structures. But he could take down maybe the Orbit Command or the Bunker or the Barracks. Anything that helps. Uh, the turret burns down. Bye bye. Where are the heavy overstimmed marines? I guess they died. And uh, that's so close. 3 2 versus 2 2. Ah, uh, that's this Marauder from Bunker. We'll clean up this. Close one. There are those, those Corruptor. The problem is, he isn't morphing them into the Brute Lords, which he could do. But. Yeah, you see it right here, the harvest discount isn't helping him. He, his bank is not that big for a surf player. And he got not the tech to, to transfer those, to move, to move those corruptor into root lords. That would be so huge. Because the liberator is okay, but ah, that's not looking good. He's now getting the lurker down, but I fear that that is just too late. But still, this game is quite even. 18 more Hydrolis, and they are good. Hydrolis have a huge DPS, but versus Bio with Medivex ah, can be interesting. And as you can see in Legacy of the Void, you're forced to expand a lot. Yeah. It's important to expand, and that's exactly what I do. And Aceless isn't really expanding. So his bank will be run dry. Uh, will run dry. That's exactly what happens right now. So this is his last ditch effort to do anything. He got some Hydralis brought down, but those are not Lurker. And those Corruptor aren't helping at all. He should maybe Harris. I mean, he could take down a Missile Turret, go for the production. That would at least slow me down to give him the opportunity to expand and get his, uh, his econ economy back up. Mm, there's a drone, but we'll get taken out by those Marines for sure. Uh, and I guess those double drops are so annoying, I will pull him back and then I can strike with my main force. That's exactly how you should try to play with Terran if you play Bio. Strike at multiple locations at the same time. Oh, those Hydralisks. Woo! There are no Banelings, that would be so awesome if those were Banelings. Interestingly, I don't see Banelings anymore in Legacy of the Void. Like, almost n never I see Banelings and yeah, there he goes. Without any splash, he can't take out that army, and that's GG. Wasn't the best game, but I thought the, the close ones right here and the fights with the Liberator were interesting enough to show you that. I will try to get the TVP before the Liberator with the old version running to cast that, because it was a really nice uh, TVP with Bio against uh, the new Protoss with Disruptor and Adapt and stuff like that. And I mixed in some Raven into my bio because of the heavy overgas I had. And it was a really good game, but I feel like it's not working anymore to show you. But I will try, I will try it, and maybe I can do this. So, yeah. The next replay should be then Heart of the Swarm again. Unless I am able to get the one replay Legacy of the Void, the TVP is working. But I guess that won't happen. Okay, so... Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you got the beta, play it, it's awesome. Yeah, hope you enjoyed, thank you for watching, I wish you a very nice day and goodbye.